First I am going to summarize the steps, required to create that physical model of the stairs. The first step is to draw a 3D model of the stairs. While modeling make sure to divide the model into few main parts, to make the building process of the physical model easier. After that, those parts are unfolded into a 2D plane. In order to be printed on a card paper. After printing, the shapes are cut out. Folded and built separately. And glued to each other to form the final shape. The step of dividing the 3D model, might vary. For example, this stairs can be divided into much smaller parts. Which makes the build process of the physical model much easier. Although it may take more time to build. But the final model will be stronger. Now let's start with step number 1. Drawing the 3D model. In this tutorial I am going to use AutoCAD to create the 3D model, but of course you can use any 3D modeling software. Now after I created the 3D model as a separated parts, I am going to delete the duplicated shapes. Because later I am going to unfold each unique 3D shape, then create copies of that unfolded shape. Now I am going to export the 3D model as STL file, in order to open it in Pepakura Designer. Now in Pepakura Designer, I am going to import the STL file created previously. For more information about exporting from AutoCAD to Pepakura Designer, you can watch the video link in the description below. Here I am going to adjust the scale according to the required dimensions. Now start by specifying the cutline edges of each separated shape.
After finishing, click the Unfold button to unfold the geometry. I am going to turn off Set Materials to Faces, as I didn't add any specific material or a texture map. Now you can edit the flaps position and size as you prefer, using the Edit Flaps tool. After finishing, I am going to copy the development to clipboard. Remember that the maximum dimension is 4096 pixels. The development is then pasted in Photoshop. Now after I copied the unfolded shapes to the clipboard from Pepakura Designer, and pasted in Photoshop, I can resize the shapes as required. After that I am going to make a copies of the unfolded shapes, according to the required parts in the 3D model. Here I resized the unfolded shapes, so that the physical model of the stairs will be of scale 1 to 10. And arranged the unfolded shapes on a 100 by 70 centimeter paper size, which is the paper size I am going to print on. Those are the unfolded parts of the model, after cutting them out. I also scored the folding lines, to get a sharp and clean edge. Now I am going to glue the unfolded shapes, to finish the model.
Thank you for watching. If you like the video then click the like button. Remember to subscribe, and wait for more videos about amazing modeling techniques.